Today in the Youth Companion, I'm going to show you an edition uh, from October 22nd of 193. That's 110 years ago. Okay, the cover was Baker's Breakfast Cocoa. 40 highest awards in Europe and America. Very nice picture there. And they send free choice recipes, a booklet of 80 pages tells you how to make delicious drinks and dainty dishes. Isn't that nice? Look at that. What an old time picture, huh? So elegant. Okay, now this costs less than one cent a cup. What an interesting uh, cover, isn't it? Colorful. Very nice. Okay, now this was a uh, youth magazine, you know, so it's really for kids, but some of the ads, I don't know, I don't think they were so much for kids. The thorn of beauty is reached through the court of health. The woman who wears a fairest good sense waist enjoys the health of comfort whether dress or relaxing. The back is rested, the body supported, the lungs expanded, the blood circulated, and nature is at her best. Can you imagine this? It's the final touch to graceful beauty. Now, I mean, it does look really nice. It forms you good. But I'd want to breathe, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Any of you, you don't know, listen to your moms or grandmas talk about wearing that? How tight and uncomfortable that was? I mean, it looks beauty, you know, put the dress on top. But I don't know if this should be in a kid's magazine. Next we have cream of wheat. Look at that. Really nice. Look how they're holding their bowl on the plate and everything. Really nice. Mama says, I'm her cream of wheat man. Woo! A dainty breakfast, delicious dessert, all grocers. Really nice picture. I like this picture. This is nice. Beautiful smiles. Okay, now this one here. I mean, these magazines, they have some really nice commercials or ads, as you would say. I think of them as commercials. Uh, if you are using ivory soap for the bath alone, you are getting only part of the satisfaction that, is, that it gives. It's pure and quick. Thorough action fits it for many purposes. And the safety for which... It can be used on any surface, gives it particular value as an all-around cleaner. Where snow white freshness is required, ivory soap is needed. And then it says, it floats. All right, well look at that. Time to clean the ships, you Navy man, using ivory soap. So nice. Okay, and then here we have a Coke commercial. So, you see how we make overcoats for grown-up boys? Young looking stylish. It's all young looking styles. 15 to 30 dollars. Some good clothers near you has them. Look for our gold clothes insurance label, H&S and M. Small things to look for, big things to find. Okay, this was a New York company. I love these pictures. Okay, now this one here, this is a, a story. A Point of Honor by Norman Duncan. This is a really nice story. Have you come to rob the great company of its goods? 
is hopefully you find this story it's quite the story I'll have someone read it it's quite a nice story so we'll get back to this one but it's a beautiful picture but we'll get back to that one okay and we have this one here the probationer another really nice story now what I really like is this next one this is an advertisement and it's actually an advertisement for education but I like what it said in it the world is before you let the failures and discouragement of the past be forgotten the future is before you shall it be bright and promising or shall it be dark and discouraging that is for you to decide every young man or woman entering the arena of life must go prepared go into life with one profession and you will find your place this is an age of specialists and you must be one to succeed that's why I am trying to instill into the minds of the great American people let our youth be instructed in one thing thoroughly and the world has a place for them I have been asked why am I am an advocate of the modern method of male instruction and I answer formerly men were educated by their work later they were educated for their work now the correspondent Institute of America educates them at their work so these are all some very very good sayings and what it actually ends up being is that uh, The foregoing is form an open letter addressed to the readers of the publication by our president. And this is a, uh, our instructions in these courses is Oh, it's for home studies. We offer the following courses for home studies. So see now where you can go to school, kind of on the internet, more or less. They kind of was doing that too, uh, but not with the internet. They were doing it through mail. So everything was done through the mail so that you could still get an education and work. So some things change in different ways, but not totally changed. So I just thought that this was rather interesting to see. I'll hold it here. So if you want to read all this for yourself, you may. Now this was in 1903. So education was, you know, very much a thing, very much needed. But they used to do it through the mail instead of the internet like we have today. So technology, technology done some of the changing for us, but it still allowed you to get an education anyhow without being uh, in school so that you could still work and support your family and get yourself a better job. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. I shall bring you some more, of course. But this is from the Youth Companion Magazine, October 22nd, 1903. Bye-bye now.